Transforming raw wool from sheep's fleece into a finished garment is a multi-step process that involves meticulous handling and specialized techniques. Here's a comprehensive overview of the journey from raw wool to ready-to-wear clothing. One, shearing the sheep. The first step in the wool production process is shearing, which is typically done twice a year, during spring and autumn. Skilled shearers carefully remove the fleece, ensuring minimal damage to the sheep's skin and muscles. The wool is cut close to the skin, but not too close, as this can cut the sheep. The average sheep produces about 8 pounds of wool per year. The world's largest wool producer is Australia, followed by China and New Zealand. The wool is then gathered and taken to a wool processing plant. Preparing the wool for processing. Dyeing. Adding color and vibrancy. Raw wool is naturally white or cream in color, but it can be dyed in a vast array of colors to suit various designs and preferences. The dyeing process involves immersing the wool fibers in a dye solution, blending, creating unique yarn blends. To create yarns with specific properties and textures, wool fibers are often blended with other fibers, such as cotton, silk, or synthetic fibers. Blending allows for tailoring the yarn's characteristics to suit different garment types and desired qualities. This process is often used to improve the properties of the resulting material, such as its softness, strength, or durability. Carding and combing, aligning the fibers. The next step involves transforming the cleaned and skirted wool into a continuous strand of fibers called sliver. This process, called carding, utilizes rotating drums with fine teeth that align and align the fibers, removing any remaining short fibers or impurities. For finer wools, the sliver undergoes combing, a specialized process that further aligns the fibers and removes shorter and weaker fibers, resulting in a smoother and more uniform yarn. Spinning, transforming fibers into yarn. By twisting or spinning the aligned fibers, the sliver is transformed into yarn, the fundamental building block of knitted and woven fabrics. Plying. Plying is the process of twisting multiple yarns together to create a thicker, stronger yarn. Winding. Winding is the process of transferring yarn from a bobbin or skein to a cone or spool. Warping. Warping is the process of preparing the warp threads for weaving. The warp threads are the long, parallel threads that run lengthwise on the loom. Weaving or knitting, creating the fabric. From yarn, fabric is created through weaving or knitting. Weaving involves interlacing two sets of yarn threads at right angles, creating a strong, durable fabric. Knitting involves interlocking loops of yarn, producing a flexible and stretchy fabric. Various weaving and knitting techniques exist, each producing different patterns and textures. Burling and mending are both processes that are used to improve the appearance and quality of fabrics. Washing. The primary purpose of washing fabric is to remove dirt, stains, and impurities that accumulate over time. Drying. After washing, fabrics need to be dried effectively to prevent moisture damage and prepare them for further processing or use. Finishing, enhancing the fabric's properties. 
the fabric undergoes a series of finishing processes to enhance its properties and appearance. Garment production, transforming fabric into fashion. The final stage involves cutting and assembling the fabric into garments according to patterns and designs. This process may involve computerized cutting machines, sewing machines, and skilled garment workers. Different tailoring techniques are employed to create various garment styles and shapes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content.